Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Chain Decos. Last time we left off, we stopped right here because we are getting ready to get to a new part of the park, I believe, and I have to beat these dorks up really quickly. Um, we fought a few of these at this point, so I probably won't show too many more of these fights uh, because it's basically the same thing over and over again at this point, but uh, we'll, we'll show like this one, you know. We're getting to the point where we can wreck them pretty easily. I gotta say, as far as like single target damage go goes, Bothroz isn't the best at that, but Bothroz is totally fantastic when it comes to uh, fighting a bunch of enemies like this that are actually weak to one of his elements. He's so, so good for that, but he doesn't have the, um, what's the word? He's not good at both single target damage and multi-target damage like Glenn and Micah are, for example. Because they're both fantastic at both, but uh, he's only really good at this one. He does okay single target damage, but could be better. Uh, Final Blossom. There we go. And I'll just do a Whirlwind Slash. I could get more Adamantite from these idiots, but well, I'll, I'll steal one right now. Two of them. There we go. And now you can just smack. Dead. And defeat a six out of six blim blimyay. Blimly blimyay. Beautiful. Um and we got a reward board thing there. Keeping all the different inputs separated across all the JRPGs and stuff I play is wild. Okay, so I think we're good. There. Let's just continue down this way. Once we're done here, we'll return home. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Martial arts training. I would have thought it would ha be something to do with food. That's just what my parents do. When you're in the middle of puberty, you're doing the opposite. Yeah, fair. Okay. Bunch of uh, hits there. Now, let's go up here and see what we got over here. Okay, so we're... yeah, we're back in the city now, but now we are in the upper city. Hello. Oh god, sandworms. Earthworms, actually, is I think what they're called. Earthworms? Earthworms. Okay, we'll, we'll show probably like one more fight with these as well. Um, luckily, they don't take too terribly long. Uh, Wild Slash on you. I do want that treasure chest over there because I would like some better weapons. Like, really badly. Okay, Glenn, definitely energy flow. Uh, you shields up, Victor. And you Hornet Dance. And then when Glenn's next turn comes around, he's going to absolutely devastate these things. They were going to get wrecked. So, water shot. Bang! 4,000 damage. That's pretty damn good. Command attack. Good old hornet dance for you. Wish there was a way to guarantee that that hits a bunch of times. It'd be cool. Very cute earthquake. There's 6,000 damage, and we're getting Aura Calcum out of this, too. That's cool. Alright, what do you got for me? A Paris? Um, I don't remember if people are using Parises or not. No, but it's probably an upgrade for a lot of them since it's a 500. So, yeah, see, this is better than the Merlin right now. Big physical damage increase, though. Let's give it to let's give it to Bothros. I think that'll be good. I have him doing physical attacks right now, anyway. Plus, that mech looks really, really nice with the with the Eva colors. An expensive doorknob. Gee, thanks. Just a few more days and we're done. Through the ether donations, we have enough mind energy to execute the plan. Yeah, we heard about the ether donations last time. We need a key to proceed. There's a silver marking. I found none of these keys so far. 
which is a bit unfortunate. So I could get back here just because of that. Knightly sword. So that's better than my rune blade, actually. Um, next tier, basically. What's in here? Hello? I can go through that. Uh, journal? Can I read that? No. Where does this let me out? Over here. Which I can't do anything with because I need a silver key. God, Nyza just totally the Umbrella Labs. Got so many keys to get. They're not key cards, but they're keys. Or just an RE game in general. Because they always require you to get so many keys to access new areas and stuff. The hell is this? Oh, it's Osnadiel! It's huge! It's the true King Osnadiel. Better be quiet or you'll wake him up. There's my silver key. Beautiful. Okay, and what's this? Can I not get in here right now? We need key to proceed. There's a bronze marking. Okay, bronze key there. Bronze key there. We've been everywhere, but so we just need to do the... the silver key stuff now. Damn, if only I had went through that through that house um, after getting that. Um, okay, is there anything cool back here that we can do with the silver key? Doesn't look like it. This all appears to be bronze key stuff. Okay, so I still need the stupid bronze key. Damn thing. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm glad they put that collectible there. It's <laughs> it's straight up a breadcrumb. I was gonna say it kind of breadcrumbs you to show you that yeah you can walk over here, and then the item I actually pick up because of it is a breadcrumb. That's funny. The last time I went there, it was something else, but here we are. Cool. cool. So new place. Now we are up here. Good. Okay, we got more buried stuff. Students are so rich that they even build an artificial lake. Their private airships can be parked here. God. Yeah, these are some rich-ass students. Victor, were you rich? Actually, no, you, you specifically mentioned you got here on a scholarship thanks to Glenn. There we go. Fight over. Got some SP. Um, can I still not set everyone to whatever I want? Yeah, Bothraz still has a little bit more to go. That is right. I need more great swords. All right, what's up here? Seaside Village. Whoa, this looks like the exact same like tile set layout that was on the giant airship we were on. There were like a few ships connected like this. Park an airship, you should do so in the water. It's the best for the hull. Interesting. Yeah, and I saw that we could go in here. Yeah, I think this is some reused tile sets, which is... It, I'm surprised I noticed it. We got some Ambrosia. Uh, from when we were on the, uh, the airship. Because there was some parked exactly like this. And then we walked into that, like, little cabin area. There weren't any other cabins open, right? That one's blocked off. That one's open. That one's blocked off. Okay. And Ambrosias, aren't those like elixirs? Aren't those my elixirs? Heals all HP, so not quite an elixir. It doesn't heal HP and um, SP or TP, whichever one it is. Oh, hi. Oh my god, not these stupid doofuses again. I don't mean to boast, but us finding treasure is all because of me. Yeah, following Sienna here was a great idea. I would have thought this plain warehouse would be so full of treasure. That was like some money back tried to ship their wealth from here in a hurry. Whatever the reason, now we can start a new life. Do you believe this gold can cleanse your hands of blood? Sienna, Sienna! Can't say I'm pleased to see you alive. We can change that, it's come a long way to die. My dear, since the last time you've gotten a we've gotten a lot stronger, I don't think you stand a chance anymore. Actually, I would love to get back at you for what you did to Madeline, but there's no time for it. Take your treasure for all I care and start a new life. If this means having four bandits less in the world, I'm fine with it. You're one to talk, the greatest thief in all of Eldrea. Definitely not someone you should look up to. 
<laughs> Don't you dare think we're so green as to fall for your trap. You'll strike us in the back. You want our treasure. 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 I don't think talking will take us any further. Now you speak the truth. You could have just left. But alright. Alright, you idiots. Toxic on two of them. That's a very, very good start. Um, They're weak to wind. I don't have access to any wind. So, we'll just pick somebody and start taking them down. I remember Bethusda having some pretty annoying things. Um... Let's see... Not really a ton for you to do. Let's bring in Lin. Because they're all weak to wind, so we can uh, wind coat. There we go. Numa drugs. Yeah, so you give like buffs and stuff. Very annoying. Magic barrier. Okay, let's go ahead and heroic ode. And you can rising dragon. And then Glenn, I think I want you to go ahead and actually use your ultra move. I should have had you use it earlier, but bonk. And I afflict your weakness. Well, that's actually good because I got wind coat on. So yeah, that actually hurt your weakness. Fantastic. 1.3 damage to hit to all. Oh yeah, because I actually have the right jump on. There we go. Um, and now I'm in full bloom, so we can final blossom, which is going to do a ton of damage. Yep. Yeah, Toxic feels like so pointless when I can do this much damage, but at least it's a little bit extra on top, I suppose. Uh, let's Whirlwind Slash. Oh god, you're all so dead. I'm so sorry, friends. Um, finish it, Sienna? Oh wait, could I have stolen from you? No. Tiger. Punch! There we go. God, Lin's too strong. The coats are just too good. So stupid. Why are, why are so many willing to throw away their lives so easily? I... I... This outcome was inevitable. Do you know what's the first thing that dies inside you when you choose the path they did? It's your trust. First it's to trust in others, then it's to trust in yourself. You walk this path for too long, you begin to hear only lies. Everyone becomes your enemy. Yeah. For them, the only pure thing, the only truth, was money. There's something here. It's a key made of copper. Oh, copper key. Back to the task at hand, let's see if this key can open. Yay! Okay, well that was a boss fight. Bronze key. Arc, 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 arc. I will be taking all of that. And we can learn some new skills. Um... TP cost down. Think you have everything over there. Crit damage up. Uh, switch out TP. Just kind of grabbing you all, whatever. Efreet song, sure. Uh, Tomk, you actually got a new ability, right? Clap on the back. Grants HP and TP regen for four turns. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Um... Stores user CP by 80. Raises damage, weakness pierce. Let's just give you... You can have the attack plus two. You, Egil, can have the attack plus two. Sienna, you can have the tech points plus five. Raphael, you can have counter mind up. Not paying too much attention to what I'm giving them here. We're pretty good. Let's get the killers though, because those might be useful against some things. When Amalia defends, Cress attacks, dealing one times damage. That's interesting. And save TP for you, Magnolia. Cool. Can I level anything interesting up? Uh, Whirlwind Slash? No. I level up the spell hit and HP drain, though. Um, what about you, Bothraz? Summoned heal can't be upgraded. You need to be upgraded, Micah. Um, let's do Falling Dragon first. Yeah, you definitely, definitely need to be upgraded. Um, maybe I should put the learning thing on you. We should, we should do that, right? Equipment, don't I have something that makes you, you have the reaction armlet currently. Uh, da -da 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 -da. restore CP. 
There's one that increases my SP earned. So let's, there we go, you gain two times additional XP. Yeah, go ahead and have that on. That'll be good for you. Okay. Well, now we're back out here. So we got our bronze key, which I needed. Well, that is good. So they found all the money that all of the, the rich students were trying to get away with, basically. That's interesting. Okay. There's this, nothing down there. Grab you. Grab those. Fake grapes. So what are they then? The Merlin. Would you look at that? Sky armor, settings. The Merlin. Gives you an extra 10 magic, some defense, and some TP. I think I'm happier with you on the Harris, though. The Merlin does look cooler, however. For now, at least. For now, at least, I think I'm happier with you on the Paris. But we will swap you over. It's just 10 extra magic, which I don't think is going to make the biggest deal in the world. And Bothrods doesn't even really have any magic attacks on at the moment. So it would be kind of worthless. Alright. Um, so we have a few different places we can go now that we have access to the Bronze Key. Obviously, I want to find... Okay, there's one of the markers. Where's the other one at, though? Gotta be another one around here somewhere. Where are you at, damn you? There you are. So, right there... It might be, like, right here? No? Thought it was gonna connect, like, right there. Hmm. Up... There, maybe? There we go. More plot armor! Would you look at that? Um, I have you in in uh, this kind of gear. Oh, Tomk has no accessory- Oh, because I had the, the SP raising things on Tomk. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can take the reaction armlet. Um, I'm using Micah more than Tomk, so... And Tomk's had that thing on for quite a while at this point. So, we should be good. Um, alrighty, so now that we're over here... Ah, yes, finally, a better glaive. So that is going on you. Big upgrade, 100 extra damage. Or 100 extra attack, rather. How do I get in there? Oh, I gotta come from the other way. Because, yeah, there's that's where my final three chests are. Cool. There we go. That's those down. Bothraus is probably getting pretty close to being finished with um, his stuff, which is nice. Let's go down here with you two. Because this will probably get me access to some of the things I want. Where does this take me? Oh, just a single door? Uh, hi. Welcome, you can find the freshest good in all of Landis. I'm sure, it's as fresh as it can possibly be here. Um, I should probably buy some of these. Because these are rare... ...crafting materials here. There we go. Let's buy all of those. Buy and quit. And I can also sell all of my loot, which I have a ton of. And new deals have been unlocked, so there's my rubber duck. Yeah, the tiny third head was what we needed. Um... I got Nectar, I got Ambrosia, I got Clothes and Robes 9, Silver Bolero and Scholar's Habit, the Bolero is new, you need a Goblin Head, which is from the, the Bob, Bob, the Real Gob, or whatever. Okay, that's good, so... This is... Oh yeah, I have you naked. That's right. I forgot about that. So... Yeah, I, forget, I completely forgot about that. I hadn't even noticed it, if I'm going to be honest. It hasn't really done much for me. I feel like... I feel like the stats we're going to get from it are... There's no way it's better than, than actually having good gems on this stuff. So I'm just going to take it off. I'm just going to take it off. I don't think it's going to be that worth it. Um, you have the reaction armlet. What did I have on you before? 
Heals can crit. Stealing always succeeds. Medallion, swift sandals. Anything that would make you faster would be pretty cool. Steel formula triggers HP regen when HP is low. Glasses. I think I had the gauntlets on you. But yeah, um, just the fact that you can put the gems in the clothes, I think, makes it so that this particular skill I have on Sienna is just... It would have to raise their stats way more than it does, I feel. So, Petal Storm Plus. Crit damage up is probably what I want here. Yeah, we'll put that on. Yeah, okay. And then the other thing we got was another Scholar's Habit. Which, the only characters I have wearing Scholar's Habits. So this is probably going on a Malia? Yeah, we have about a million of those things already anyway, so... Not super useful. So where does this let me out? Here? At a spot that's not on the map? Okay, there we go. I was about to say. So this loops back around over there. Um, there was that door I passed up on going in, the wine cellar, which connects down there. Okay. Recognize it was built here in the middle of nowhere so the students could concentrate on their studies. Sometimes I wonder why they built this academy in Volandis. There was nothing here and all the students had to travel from far away. Nobles from every country study in Niza. That must be why they chose a neutral location such as Volandis. Yeah, so hearing about how expensive this place was to go to, it makes so much sense why Victor specifically needed a scholarship to go here. Okay, I saw that buried treasure. Hmm. It's pointing up here. Maybe it's maybe it's up instead of down. Oh, I don't see another one over here. It's got to be like down or over here or something. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find it. Rest assured. First we go over here though, because now I can access this. Which gives me the three treasures. Adamantites, Herbalist's Advice? Herbalist's Advice, huh? 30% chance to counter single target physical attack by curing a random ailment on self? Eh. I mean, that's all right. For specifically for enemies that would, you know, be trying to, to kill me like that. With status effects. Okay, gotta make sure I keep an eye out for this buried treasure marker. That's the main thing I'm looking for here. Because so far we've only seen one. Alright, let's take these idiots out. And with that, we finished off uh, defeating a certain amount of wyvern in here. So, boom, boom. I also have a soul of Farnese to grab. And one more longest chain, and we get the monument. Which I don't know what that's used for, but neato, I suppose. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... Exploring around here. Yeah, I'm still looking for this stupid thing. Why is the screen freaking out now? Weird. There's- oh my god, I was looking straight at- oh no, I probably didn't move over far enough to see it. That's probably what the issue was. Okay, so it's... I mean, it's gotta be down there. It's gotta be, like, here against this wall. And stuff, right? I don't know where else it could really be. Unless there's three of them. Hmm. Maybe? La 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 la. You seem happy today. Is it because we're near the end of our mission? What? You, you, yes, that's exactly the reason. Woof. Oh no, your head's cut off. What's going on, Chris? Oh, there's another ghost. La 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 la. <laughs> Poor Sienna. Alright. Um, so yeah, we can go up here. Hello. A lot of money to be made in Niza. I'm going to open a bakery here. Oh yeah, no, you'll, you'll do, I'm sure it'll do great. It will. Okay. This buried treasure is going to drive me nuts. Okay, so this gets me up here, which support drones. 
Sky armor proficiencies. Are you done yet, Bothraz? Finally! I can put you on something else. Which I want to do really badly. Um, I really don't want you on this sword and shield, but it's unfortunately the best other weapon that we have. Um, so at least you can go on to, like, the ether cannon. Now. And you can have the next level of support drones. It's good to me. Yeah, this is the playground. Boom. Kerberos. Can never remember if somebody is wearing... No. I mean, that would give you higher attack. You're using the Avelia. Okay, higher attack, yeah, that's what that's what we want on you. For sure. Cool. I like that. And there's still two treasure chests left. Wait, is there one up here? No, there's nothing up here? Okay. Well, I gotta find out what the deal is with the stupid buried treasure. Oh my god, there it is. Jesus. I thought I checked there, damn it all. Okay, well we found three out of three buried treasures. There. There's my longest chain. I get monument. Whatever in the world that is? Okay, I thought monument was going to be like an item that I could have, but uh... I, I looked up exactly what monument it is and apparently it's just a statue for, for my like town thing. So... Yay! I got that, I suppose. That'll be cool to see when we go back over there. So... Nine treasures in here? What? Oh god, is this the Lost Woods? Or not? Silver Bolero, Muramasa. Oh my god, we got the Muramasa. Cool. Seven more here. Weird. This place is odd. It's just like a little place I walked into, the wine cellar. Yeah, okay, there's all kinds of different wine cellars and I unlock them all and get access to different things. There's still one more treasure here I haven't found. Where the hell is that? Did I ever go in this door? I don't remember. Um... Not, not sure, but... Aha, here's my, here's my final treasure. Yeah, I had never, I had never went through that door. Okay, okay, we can, we got it, we got it. And now I can go back over here and we can use our bronze key on this door and then we can go back to the first area and I'll be able to use the bronze key everywhere else. Um, that reminds me, I do have more plot armor to give people. So, who else needs plot armor? You're using a golden brigandine. You can have the bolero. I believe. It'll, it'll end up better for you. You have the parade armor, you have leather gear. You can have the pl other plot armor. There we go. Cool. Now, there's a door... I think it's right, right through here, yeah? Yeah, there it is. This leads to another wine cellar. Explore most of the area. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Hello, it's very dark. Can't see shit, Captain. Phantom. They can be canned. Okay, well you're... different. Interesting. We got phantoms in the wine cellar. Okay, falling dragon, yeah. I'm kind of scared of you. You're an enemy... The, uh, interesting, unique enemy. Why are they weak to dark, I wonder? You're an interesting, unique enemy and you're in a late game area. It makes me feel like... I don't know, you're like a Tonberry or a Cactar or something? But no, you don't actually seem that bad. I was worried, I don't know, you had like instant death or something. But no, that seems to not be the case. I'm scared this will kill. Uh, I don't think it'll kill them all. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we just switch to Tonk. Make sure to can one. You eat that ghost, Tonk. Tonk ain't afraid of no ghosts. And Scythe. Good. I got a memory for that. And Tonk got a new ability. Learn skill. What'd you get? Uh... Run the ground, convert, know your limits. 
Freak wave treasure mark. Resets overdrive bar once per battle. Wait, overdrive? Overdrive. Oh, 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 okay, wait. I was like, I was like, what do you mean overdrive? Overdrive is the, the thing in the top left that we move around. I was like, I, I thought for a second, I was like, I thought it was talking about ultra move bar. So I was confused. I was like, why would I want to reset it? That's pretty good, honestly. It, especially for those situations where I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm boned. Um, and we need to do something. You can just do that. Grafnel is slightly better. So yeah, when we when we get in those moments where our overdrive bar is just really, really screwed up, we gotta swap to you. Um hi. This place is confusing. For months I've been doing nothing but drawing these symbols. What do they mean? No clue. I just draw them as Professor ordered. Okay, and these lead to the different places. Upper City Mansion. There's still six chests in here. Ovelia. Um, sky armor settings. Nobody's using the Ovelia. Yeah. Okay. So back down here. I can swap Bothraz to that other... Back to the Merlin, actually. Because you uh, actually have access to some magic now. Okay, open that. And now we're back in the first area, yeah? Uh... Oh god, no, we're way back here. Oh. Never mind, no, this is not where I thought we were going at all. So yeah, I guess I want to go to the mansion next. But we need to go ahead and end this episode off, so I'll run up here to the mansion, we'll enter it, and then I think I'll... end things off... there. Hello... little critter. He says as he walks into a boss fight, the wider ganger. Great. Great job, me. Well, you're toxic. Destructing spirit cage. Trapped? Well, that's new. Huh. Um. I'm just gonna all break you. I wanna save my ultra move for Micah's turn. Dispel, removes target's buffs, you don't have any. Um, you are weak to dark, so keeping Bothraz in is going to be good. Actually, no, it would be better just to switch to Lin. It'd be better just to switch to Lin and use a dark coat. Unable to act. Okay, cute. Um, let's go ahead and do one of these. Unable to act. Are you going to constantly stay locked up? Dark Spear. There we go. Calling children. Oh god, please don't. Oh, I hate them. Uh, Victor, go ahead and swap the Sienna so that we can get a Pilfer off on the boss. Two Tekos. That'll be nice. Um, are they also weak to the same thing? No, they're weak to Earth. Oh well, I can still hit you anyway. Okay, now you can ultra move you. Big damage. Act twice. Okay, you're gonna start doing that now. Um, Drunken Master for all of us. Poison Odin. Well, Glenn resists that. I need to put... I got another rubber duck, right? I need to put that on someone. Uh... Bothraz, you can Dark Scythe, everyone. Shadow Arts. Okay, that just does a little bit of damage. Okay, back to Victor. We need to heal all. There we go. And you can... Just Spinning Kick. There we go. 470. More Whirlwind Slashes from Glenn. Poison Odin. More poison, but most of us resisted it. Okay. We still have our buffs like I want. Could have healed with Bothraz there, but... Um, 
Let's see, head attack, sure. Just to get us back into the correct overdrive part. Um, let's do another whirlwind slash, because this should take out your little babies. Yeah. Okay, so now you're in a better spot. Hmm. Do another spinning kick. There we go. Uh, Victor needs to heal us. Bothras. Let's actually swap off of you so that we can put another dark coat on and it'll also help lower the meter there. Okay, you're adorable. Uh, so we do have dark attack. I need to attack with Glenn. Glenn does too much damage. There we go, that was super easy. Later, nerd. I'm realizing your head is very phallic. Has anyone ever told you that? Victory! That was one of those red-eyed beasts, wasn't it? Yeah, they feel different from the rest of the monsters we fight. I feel their hatred towards me. Who's clapping for me? Who's there? Good job. You've almost reached your destination. Did, did, did he just walk out of the wall? Killian, what are you doing here? Looking after you. Don't want you to fail just because these meager fiends of the Harbinger attack you. Does Red Eye Beast belong to the Harbinger? Wicked evil at the heart of the Maelstrom stands not idle. Corrupts the ether around him, giving birth to a special kind of monster. I'm the target of the Harbinger and his monsters? Well, his actual target's Master Gawain. Master has a certain aura about him that the Harbinger follows. Ever since Master Gawain designated you as a successor, the aura's been attached to you, I see. What are you talking about? Don't worry too much, you failed as a successor. Taking over that role now, you better concentrate on the target ahead, the vein. W wait Damn it, Killian, what does all this mean? But when Gawain, he'd rather tell it himself. Let's go. Alright. Good stuff. So we can go ahead and save now, so. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>